Floss Tube. This is Karen with KB Studio Creations. And Jason, I'm just hanging out today. <laughs> um, so I'm not so weird. I don't know. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for uh, those who are returning. Those, thank you for anyone who are new subscribers. Um, I looked at my numbers today, and I am up 99 subscribers since the beginning of the year. So uh, what's the total? Uh, 180. So I'm 70 away from my you guys. from my uh, goal for the year of 250 subscribers by the end of the year. So thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And thank you to those who give shout outs and those who encourage to watch, to encourage others to watch us as well. So yeah, thank you. Um, I don't have any new starts this week. I've just been, well, these two weeks, I'm just working on whips. So. <laughs> what? They're whips. One of the ones I've been working on is Olivia Oakleaf by Silver Creek Samplers. Um, and this is on a 14 count hand dyed Ada. And I made some good progress. Um, I'm really enjoying working on this right now. Um, just with autumn coming on, it just fits the season and it's a beautiful pattern. Um, I was getting a little, um, I don't know. Frustrated, aggravated, agitated. Sure, agitated works. I wasn't working on it as much because I realized I didn't have all the flosses I needed or wanted. Flabbergasted. <laughs> so I'm going to show my haul right now because part of it <clears throat> is I bought the three colors I needed. Woo! And chugger, 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 chugger. Woo, woo! <laughs> can you hand Sorry. me the pattern again? Yes, I can. Um, so originally I wasn't. This is the color for the words, and you can't really see the words very well on here. Um, but I decided to get it anyways because I saw someone else post it and it looked like it was darker, like this appears to be. So, um, I think I'll probably actually use the called for color for the words. Um, the reason I didn't order was because I needed this. Um, for a model I'm stitching, I'm... Oh, the reason you did an order. I heard didn't order. <laughs> um... And I needed this, and I the closest thing I have is Walmart, and they do not have this color. I checked before. Um, and my mom had gotten me an extra one one time when she was at Michael's. But Walmart I doesn't find have it. a lot of things. Anyways, I couldn't find it, and it's a 45 minute drive, and I don't have the time, etc., for that right now. So I ordered for one, two, three stitch. Um, but I was not going to just get this one thing of floss, so I got those, as well as. This is 32 count navy Belfast linen. It's for a model. I'm gonna stitch up one of my patterns. Um, I was looking for, I was wondering. That um, one I would actually say is one of our patterns. It's true. Jason came up with the idea and sketched and it out. And the general design. Yes. Yeah. And then I created the pattern. Um, I was looking for, I was wanting a modeled um, sort of fabric, but I was having a hard time finding one. So I decided to go with this. And what I'm probably gonna do is to use some um, variegated floss instead. Um, I really like it because it looks kind of like denim. So, yeah. So it's just this nice, pretty navy blue. Um, but now I have to decide on the colors. But that's okay. One step at a time. I thought you already had the colors. In the DMC, but if I want to do variegated, I need to choose <gasps> true. different ones. Very true. So, um, yeah. So that was my one of my whips and my haul. So another whip was um, Millie's Year, this cross stitch calendar, and I'm working on the May, no, March block. Oh, you went ahead and started working on March? Yeah. Cool. Because I needed it for some School of Magical Stitches literature. Homework. So this block specifically. Yeah. So I started working on that. Um, Jason's still planning to do every other month. Um, not sure when he's going to stitch that, but... Well... I was waiting for you to be done with January. Well, I'm done with January. I found that out now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I enjoyed working on that. Um, I also worked on a Stitcher Lips here, once again, for School of Magical Stitches and Literature. So it's actually called House Proud, but I call it a Stitcher Lips here because that's what the words say. And this is... Oh, and just backing up, Millie's Year is by Maria Diaz and was in the Cross Stitcher Magazine January 2019, and it was an insert, and it's on 14 Count Blue Sky hand idea. I just realized, for people who are new, Cross Stitcher Magazine isn't, like, 
It's just, it's the title, not descriptive. It's Cross Stitcher. That's the title. Because I was just listening to Karen say it, and I was like, hmm, that could be kind of confusing. Mm -hmm. So, for clarification. All right. So now back to this one, House Proud. It is by Faye Walsh, and it is in Cross Stitcher Magazine, March 2019. And I'm doing this on a 27 count linen, and I'm doing it two over one. So oh, it's oh, going to be really small. the size, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be really small, really tiny. Um, but I got the border done. Well, the outside border, the inside of the border I started on. So it's looking really pretty. I, I don't really like the feel of this fabric, and so I, I'm figuring that's why I'm not working on it a lot. Um, but... Um, I do like the pattern. I am probably going to change the color of the house. It's blue, and I want to make it purple. Because purple is my favorite color. And it's already got a blue border, so. So what you're saying is that we need to get enough money so I can buy the purple house in town? No, because I don't want to live necessarily in a purple house. I just want my cross to be have a purple house. Oh, okay. Got to clarify sometimes, you know. <laughs> and Jason's looking down because he's over here painting miniatures. Shh. <laughs> it was to be a surprise. Okay. Plus, I'm not painting. I'm priming. Okay. Um, I also worked on Halloween Cat Portrait by the Pixel Parade. Um, and this is on 14 Count Hand Dyed Ada. And here it is. Once again, School of Magical Stitches and Literature Homework. And I love this cat. It's so cute. So I finished this outside border, the black. So that was fun. What all, left, what all do you have left to do on it? I have to finish the hat. And I have to finish this background on the, behind the cat. Mm -hmm. And I have to finish the eyes, the nose, the ear, things like that. There's the oh, color oh, that yeah, yeah, in yeah. between these two borders. So it's still got more to go, but it's fun. And this is also works for my black cat x style, which is any pattern that has a black cat on it. So feel free to join in. Are you still doing post. links to those things in the? Yeah, down below. Okay. And in so my show down, notes. Okay. So it's not like in, I know at one time we were putting links on the video. Oh yeah, I put, I put the, I, I mean, I put them on the video. What? So also just side note, last time I said my computer had stopped working and it had, but then it started working again for me. Yay. I didn't know what I was going to do. So I'm really happy that it's working again. So there will be editing on this video. Once I clean off my computer, cause it's getting full of stuff and it doesn't have space okay. for my thing to process. Yeah. I just, Everything takes up lots of space. Um, and the last whip I'm going to talk about, because I also do have whips that are either models or Christmas presents that I'm not showing, but the last one I'm showing is my Cinderella's, Cinderella's slipper. People. Oh, I should probably show the pattern, but let me get that and find that. But, so I started adding in some gray, once again, for School of Magical Stitches and Literature. Some gray. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see, I see. And I've been listening... Right there. Um, to Pride and Prejudice on audiobook while I stitch this using LibriVox um, because there's the um, Stitching Book Club style going on where they're reading Pride and Prejudice and doing the mystery stitch along, which I'm not doing that. I love seeing people's things, what they're working on, but I'm not doing it. But I, it did make me want to reread Pride and Prejudice. So Jason just showed the pattern for this one, Cinderella Slipper by Susan Penny. And it's in Crossfitter Magazine, October 2018. And it's on 28 count opalescent hand dye Bugana. And this is my KEB Day style. Yes. And um, you can join in at any time. And it's anything that uh, is a silhouette or fairy tale related. So feel free to join in that hashtag as well. So yeah, that's all my whips. Um, oh. I was going to try to get some FFOs done. I did not. Um, however, I do have a video to insert. Um, it is an ATC from a pup a few months ago that was received, so I am going to insert my video here. Oh, that's right. This is the June ATC that I stitched. The theme was space. Um, so I stitched this galaxy um, cross stitch uh, on 18 count navy blue Ada that Jason hand dyed. And I put it on some base looking scrapbook paper and the design is by Emma Congdon 
and it is from Cross Stitch Crazy, June 2019. So that was perfect timing. Um, and it's part of these quick and easy sci-fi motifs that she had. Um, and I'm also sending this cute little card with it, um, which I think is perfect for summertime. Um, it worries me because often like I send these out and then I don't see people post about them and then I'm like, oh no, they didn't receive it. But I'm finding a lot of people post a lot later than when they receive it. So yeah, I have a few saved up to show you. There's that. a few that you're inserting? No, I'm just inserting one right now. Oh, okay. I haven't seen my July or August one posted yet. Oh, okay. So I can't put those ones in. Well, at the same time, some of them are going international, aren't they? Or uh, was the it just one? The last ones haven't been international. They've been just in the U.S. Okay. So. So. Um, on to the rest of my haul, which is Just Cross Stitch, the Christmas Ornaments Edition. This is my first time receiving this one, and it's got lots of pretty ornaments. Um, I really like this sleigh. Um, and the lady who's doing the Stitching Book Club, I'm pretty sure it's the same one who she's trying to organize, like, a ornament exchange. And, like, part of me is like, yeah, I should do that. That would be so much fun. I love stitching ornaments. But another part of me is like, I have a ton of Christmas presents to stitch, and I'm not even close to being done. I haven't even started them all. I know the feeling. Because you're not even working on them. I say as I'm sitting here painting during a <laughs> cross-stitch video where I could be cross-stitching. I love you guys. So, yeah. I don't know when I'll stitch any of these, but they're really cute. And, oh, this one's really pretty, too. I like this one. This, um, Mary and Jesus one. So. Oh, yeah. Lots of pretty ones. And I, it makes me want to try to submit some of my patterns to see if I could get in one of these. That'd be fun. We'll see. Maybe someday. Um, design shop. I guess I'll Oh, that'd be a cool little thing to do. What? Take it to the community and say, hey, which one do you think I should submit? Oh. Well, I only have one ready at this point, so. But I also. You have lots I, of ornaments. There were things that could be ornaments. I also don't know what the rules are. I need to find out what the rules are for submitting, because, like, I know some people say, like, I don't know, like, you don't show it beforehand. So I don't know if you can, like, show it and then, like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. I don't know what the rules are, basically. Um, as far as design and shop, um, still working on patterns and stuff to try to get ready. Um, work's been kind of crazy, so I haven't spent as much time as possible. Plus, I have, um, this year I'm doing one festival sort of thing, I guess what you call it. It's just a one Street day fair. Yeah, a booth um, at the one in my town. And so I've been trying to get things ready for that. I just made, like... 50 magnets. Let me see your wrist. Um, okay. And then i am also been making some necklaces. These are fun. I like making, so I make, I sell jewelry and you can see my jewelry I sell on my Facebook page. Um, I don't sell it on my Etsy store, but I do sell it through my Facebook page. Um, I have some. These are so tangled up. And some uh, key rings. And just more independence. So I paint, oh, come on! <laughs> I paint these with um, nail polish and then I glue them onto here. And I think they're really pretty. So, anyways, they're all tangled. We don't want There's one here. <laughs> and there's one here. This is why they need to be put in separate bags. Yeah, because... And this one's not tangled. Ha ha. So, oh, that's pretty. Yeah. I like the so, sparkles. I love, I, I get into these rabbit holes and I'm like, I want to make tons of things, but then I don't sell as many as I make, which is not a good thing. So I'm resisting buying more things because I want to buy more to make more, but I should But that's typical. A lot of people, they make a ton of stuff and then some of it doesn't sell, some of it does. You know, especially whenever it's this individualized, handcrafted stuff. That's true, but I don't really have money to invest right now. Yeah, so, that's true as well. Um, if I did, I totally would just do it, but I don't have money to invest in it right now, so I just gotta... Thus saith my pocketbook. <laughs> do the best I can with what I can do. Do you want to show your miniatures at all? Did you, you want me to? Yeah. Okay, because I brought them next to me so then I could show them, but I didn't know if you wanted me to. And that was stupid of me. What? They're all at the very bottom. Oh, that is a problem. Well, while you're finding your things, I will do the giveaway. Well, it's not that hard to find them. Um, so, for the giveaway, ah! 
say what thing you want. You can say, I want one, two, three, all three things. Just say what you want. So there's this pattern, Cross Stitch Favorites, and it's got lots of different patterns. Um, it's got some Christmas, some fall, some Egyptian, just a wide variety. It's a little book. Um, and then there's this one, which is country ones. It's got chicken, some mailboxes, things like that. And then there's this, it's you got like a little small mini pillow. So um, just be over 18 so you can give me your address. Um, don't say giveaway, just say what you want. Um, yeah, I think that's all the rules. And you have two weeks. Question. Yes. If someone is under 18 but they would like to do the giveaway, could they have their parent do the giveaway? Yes, their parent could, but okay, it's just rules and stuff you can't give. Yeah, if you're 18 or younger, you can't give out your address. Right. Yeah. So, anyways, those are the options. Um, feel free to enter for one, two, three, all three, whatever. Just say which ones you want in the comments below. And we're almost out of time. Yeah. So, do you want to show your mini sheet? Yep, mini sheet I, quick? I pulled them out. So, I painted two water genasi druids. This water one, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It looks really good. Um, this one, I tried to make it coral, but doesn't read that well. Uh, it's more like a dust cloud. It does, but it works. And then I think these two are the only other two that I that are new. But this little goblin dude, he's fun. Can't The little goblin dude. <laughs> sorry, it cut out. Uh, so little goblin dude here. You can't see him that well, but he's got like a little vial of alchemist fire. And I started painting another one, but I didn't finish because he's really intricate. And You didn't show him before, did you? I think I did. If I didn't show him before, here he is now. This is my tiefling. Tiefling druid is actually what it was, but um, I don't play him anymore. But last time I was playing on Thursday, someone had a tiefling druid in our group, mm -hmm. and I let them borrow that because they're done, and they can be used now. And then my pixie, of course, which I think I've shown my pixie and my dragon. And... Your dragon, you, you hadn't finished the dragon. Oh, I hadn't. No, I hadn't finished the dragon. Yeah, the dragon is finished now. You can't see in these videos. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, they're all finished. And then this guy, I'm trying to strip the paint off of them so then I can repaint them. And then on what I'm working on right now, oh, I didn't do that. Um, I'm just priming some Citadel Warhammer 40 stuff that I bought. So I'm in the, those are ones that you have to like actually glue together and then paint. So I'm in the middle of priming them because they need to be primed before you can paint them. Whereas the other ones, they come pre-primed, which is nice. Um, but they're also pre-assembled. These ones aren't, so I can understand why. Yeah. So I think that's all. Do we have any life updates? I'm trying to think. Um, Just work's been crazy, stressful, but I'm getting through it. School's been crazy, stressful. Yeah. Oh, well, your boss is back at work, yes. which is a good thing. My boss is back at work full-time, which is helpful, because then I don't have to deal with some of these issues. I can just push them off to him and it's his decision not mine yay i don't like being the boss which is another reason why every time he brings up you taking over the business it's a joke no. he wants to retire eventually but which is good he should retire yes but i don't want to take over the business right um he'll have to find someone else so i think that's all i'm going to edit this video and upload it and then cross it i feel like there's yay. something else though something else in life or in general in cross stitch in yes i don't know but i feel like there's something else that we were or i was going to talk about mm -hmm. i don't know i'll talk about it next video when i'm not looking down the whole time <laughs> uh, it's a crazy day for me today so i'm trying to multitask so i don't i don't want you to feel like i'm ignoring you floss tube i love you i do i'm just being busy while we floss tube as well <laughs> all right happy why stitching. am i so weird <laughs> Have a good week, guys. Bye.